Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you about a online test, online MCQ test on SAP BW HANA. So I'm gonna show you a 10 uh, questions and I will be telling you and explaining you uh, each of the questions and how can you access this online test? Like simply you go to the Google searching and write our website learningacademy.com and then once you go into it you can find the website SAP Learning Academy then once it opens you can see this online test column so go into this SAP BW HANA online MCQ test series so today we will be discussing about the set 3 so this online test 3 so I will be going through this 10 questions also you can also go through these questions which will help you in order to understand the knowledge of SAP BW in much better way and also it is important if you are going for an interview or if you are a developer. So the first question is the virtualization layer is one of the three layers of BW SAP BW for HANA. You can also do the guess alongside I will be selecting here so it should be true. And at the end of the test, we will see the score as well. Next question, the column store is one of the main concept of the SAP HANA database. So it is also true. So column store is definitely a vital point in SAP HANA database. That's why the SAP HANA came into market because the robust we earlier we had the concept of robust now SAP HANA has come up with the in-memory concept which actually stores the data in column stores so this true is the right option next is a composite provider provides stores no data so what can be the answer anyone can guess so definitely the option is true Composite provider does not store any data because it is kind of a structure uh, based on some join or union, but it does not physically store the data. You can always view the data from composite provider, but basically it does not store any data. So I hope you are understanding it very well as I'm explaining you each and every questions. Also, you can go through this website and you can see the other questions and you can do it by yourself. But this tutorial is for learning, so you can learn it a lot. So next question. So which of the following are info objects? As you might know that, what is the info object? So in these four options, so you need to select multiple options. So what are these four options are called as info object? So the first option should be the characteristics info objects. We, about, we know about it. We, we, we heard about key figures. We have a heard about time characteristics, but this is a not a info object, transformation info object. So going with the next question now. So in SAP BW HANA ODP mandatory for SAP ERP sources. And yes, it is correct. In BW for HANA, if you are actually if you are having any old ERP source system, how can we actually extract the data to BW system? So the only way is the ODP, this uh, uh, open, uh, this uh, data provisioning method. So you need to select as true. Next option is data flow objects are assigned to Inforia. And that answer is true because once you create any kinds of you know object whether it can be a uh, composite provider or ADO so everything will be saved under a info area so the whatever data flow you create that comes under data flow that's so it's true again now coming to the next question and it is uh, the SAP HANA studio is developed in Java and is based on Eclipse platform so it might be new for all the developers. So this question is, but it is true that it is developed in Java and it is an Eclipse platform. So the answer is true again. 
Now next, so which type of join is checked whether the referential integrity is provided? So we might know the joins like inner join, referential join, full outer join and text join. But in this context of the question that which join type is checked whether the referential integrity is provided. So the correct answer is referential join. In the referential join, you have two tables A and B and your B table that the, the the data for B table now uh, is actually should be a uh, referential integrity uh, with respect to the A table. Going to the next question. In data provisioning, a uh, file can only be imported to BW4 HANA with the SAP HANA Studio import wizard. So here the question is very uh, uh, important that in SAP, in, in SAP BW4HANA, in data provisioning, only files can be imported to BW4HANA. And that's wrong because there will be other sources can be connected uh, which can actually import the data. So that's false. Coming to the last question, and it is very important for all the developers. So an external SAP HANA view can be generated for which of the following object types? As you might know that in SAP HANA Studio, when you create any kinds of object, the BW object, you find the option to create the external SAP HANA view. So in this question, you have four options. So which one is going to, uh, going to choose you, going to give you the external HANA view? So the correct answer should be composite folder, query, and data store. Data store meaning that ADS are here. So these three options will have uh, the external SAP HANA view uh, check mark. So now we are going to submit it. Now we have covered all the 10 questions. So now we can see the result. And also when you do it by yourself, also you can see your score. Like if I click on view scores, so it's going to open a new page and it's going my result 10 out of 10. And, and also you can see the correct answer like which is being ticked. So you can also do your experiment by yourself. You can do the testing by yourself. You can go and visit the website. You can find the multiple tests and also you can find the multiple tutorial videos. That's important because you can see uh, the many tutorials related to uh, SAP, various areas like SQL, ABAP, and BW4, uh, HANA, and, and PLSQL. Thanks for watching this tutorial and please do this online test by yourself in order to understand it very well. Thank you and have a nice day.